Okay. Hello. Um, this is just going to be a small tutorial video um, on how to very quickly change a few stats on equipment in Elden Ring. Um, the example of this video will be the Halo Scythe. I have a fresh character here who does not meet the requirements to use the Halo Scythe and therefore the uh, Ash of War produces no visual effect and no projectile. We will um, go into the parameters of the weapon and reduce the requirements and allow this fresh character to use the Ash of War without actually changing the character stats. That should hopefully showcase all of the required skills needed to change any stat of any equipment and hopefully other parameters throughout the regulation file as well. Okay, so here we are in um, File Explorer. I have on the right an instance of Mod Engine 2. Um, if you don't use that, I would very much recommend it. On the left I have shortcuts to various tools that I use for FromSoft uh, game modding. Um, very quickly, I'm going to go over it and show you almost at a real-time speed, and then afterwards I will go through and talk through each step more clearly. So, if I was to want to do this myself, I would first open the mod folder, where I have the regulation file ready, open that in Yapt Rune Bear, scroll down to Equip Param Weapon, I have marked the Halo Scythe beforehand with a tag right here, so I know this is the right value. Find the stat requirements here. Say instead it requires 9 strength, 9 dex, 9 faith. Check at the bottom that it is indeed going to save to the correct regulation bin. Then Control S to save. Close the app rune bear. Then launch Elden Ring. Now we are in game, and um, you'll see in a second that. The sword, or oh, sword art, sorry, the Ash of War works perfectly fine, and the stats have stat requirement has changed in the menu as well. So the actual stat requirement of the weapon is now lower. Here we are back in File Explorer, and I would like to kind of go into more detail as as to what you could do when editing these parameters. I use Yapt Runebear, but I know that some people prefer to use uh, DS Map Studio. Both are very useful in what they do. Um, obviously DS Map Studio comes with other tools as well, such as obviously a map editor and is much better I think for large projects but for something small like editing a single weapon I find that Yapt Rune Bear is perfectly fine. Um, if I open now the regulation bin file with Yapt Rune Bear again I can show you kind of explain what's going on. So if you weren't aware the regulation.bin file is basically just a bunch of CSV tables and um, in theory you could probably export these to like Excel or something. It's very, very readable 
in something like Gap Rune Bear. Um, but, you know, it, it is very, very approachable, I think. Um, so these, on the left, these are your actual tables. Um, we are focused on equipment here. And all of the equipment is stored in Equip Param Weapon. Armor would be in Protector. Ash of Wars are in Gem. As I believe they've come down from um, Gem Infusions. That's maybe the system they're using in order to add Ash of Wars onto Weapon. It's quite helpful. Um, so, as far as we are concerned right now, if I have... This is the ID for the Halo Scythe, and if I have all of this selected, I can see on the right every parameter of the weapon. Behavior variation, meaning what kind of behavior the weapon has, sell price, correction, kind of helping with scaling, um, guard absorption, special effects, passive special effects, origin weapon that is used for upgrading. So you may notice, um, say up here, this one. I don't know what this weapon is, but I can tell it's not a special weapon because upgrades, so upgrading with smithing stones is based on origin weapon and non-special weapons can go up to 15, they can go up to 25, but that's down here. There they are. 16 to 25. Um, but also, more importantly, the IDs, the f right side, final four digits of the number, are reserved as like a subcategory. So, all zero, meaning base weapon, 100, 200, 300, going up to 1200, being the different types of infusion. I believe it is um, like heavy, keen, quality, fire, magic, but uh, uh, the order doesn't matter. The point, I'm sure you get the point. Um, However, for boss weapons, they do not have that incremental ID increase below them. Um, if I wanted to, though, change something like the damage, that would be here. Maybe I want it to deal a crazy amount of lightning damage. It's upset at that. Maybe I don't want it to deal a crazy amount of lightning damage. Maybe I want it to do just a medium amount of lightning damage. Um, you are somewhat uh, restricted by the data type here. So that's an unsigned 16-bit. Don't go too high. It can't store that high of a number. That's what the um, red box and sort of error noise was for, but as you can see, every single stat is here for you to play around with. Um, in terms of the important ones, there is obviously, so correction is to do with scaling, damage is the raw damage number, um, Behavior variation is the type of sort of movement behavior. So, for example, the pickaxe is, I believe, a type of hammer, but it has its own special animations. If you were to take a hammer and then take the beha behavior variation from the pickaxe, it would swing like a pickaxe would. Very helpful if you want to kind of limit or not, well, not limit, but change change the way your weapon moves to be copying one of the more unique weapons. Um, 
As far as origin goes, make sure that that is already set up. Um, some of these can be useful. Uh, enable sorcery, parrying, incantations. I um, I tend to prefer to allow buffing. I like I like to be able to buff my weapons. Um, but obviously, I understand special weapons. They typically aren't buffed in this game. Um, you can mess around with what can enable, what can be cast. I have a mod for the dwarven staff from Skyrim, which kind of plays around with the idea of casting multiple things. Where the kind, the kind of gimmick is that. Although the weapon has less spell scaling, it can cast all types of magic. Um, so kind of like a trade-off there, it can be kind of interesting. Um, you know, it, there's more correction down here. Make sure you come through and actually check. Make sure you don't miss any um, correction types because they're kind of scattered due to how they're saved, as far as I know. Arcane is all the way down here. Um, then there's Ash of War type. This is also important if you're making a weapon that is considered special or modifiable. Um, that should be basically everything that you would want to change in a weapon in Elden Ring. So, I'm going to save this, and we will see in the base game, I'll load it up again. No, in the base game, in the ac actual game, the weapon will now have very high lightning damage. Alright, so, as you can see we're in game, and if I load the stats up, 118 physical, 1000 lightning, plus the correction value from my stats. If I now give this a test, on this guy over here, it works significantly well. Who'd have thought? Um, but I think that concludes this video, just a hopefully quick video on how to do a basic param edit in Elden Ring.